How to tap into the mindset of the most successful business leaders. How do you become a highly successful business leader? You might think it's impossible, but if you run through your list of objections, then I bet that few of them hold water. You don't have the money? Weren't born with a silver spoon in your mouth? Well, guess what? Neither were half of the biggest CEOs in Silicon Valley. Next. What about technical expertise? Maybe you think you need to know how to program, or you need to know how to build computers? Actually, that can all be outsourced. Even Steve Jobs used Steve Wozniak to handle the tech side of things. No, the only thing missing is their mindset. And if you're making excuses, then that's the first sign that you aren't in the right frame of mind. So what can you do about it? The first thing I want you to do is to take responsibility and to decide what you want. Where do you want to be? What do you want to accomplish? What are you passionate about? It is now down to you to accomplish that and make it happen. No one is going to hand it to you on a plate. Something that Tim Ferriss says is that you should look at the two worst outcomes. What's the worst outcome of going after your dream job? And what's the worst outcome of not? The worst case scenario, if you set up your passionate business, is that it goes wrong. It crashes and burns and you lose money and perhaps a little bit of face. But if you don't go after it, the worst case scenario is that you stay stuck in the same job forever. You never challenge yourself, never stretch yourself, and never find out what you could have done with your life. At 60, you look back on your life and you feel regret, although it is never too late to start. So find your passion and go after that. And no, I'm not talking about a compromise. You want to be the next Bill Gates or the next David Beckham? Then do that. Don't work in a tech firm and don't become a soccer coach. Go for the gold, because it's only when you are working toward your passion and your true goal that your body, mind, and will will be in alignment. It's only then that you will come alive and enter a flow state, a state of mind where everything else seems to slip away and you can accomplish anything.